Hi everyone, welcome to Network Tech Zone. In this video, we will configure a username and password for Telnet configuration. We are going to remotely access this router zero, that is the which will be renamed as Cisco, and from Dell router we will access Cisco router. It's very simple the configurations. Uh, we already know that uh, Telnet will be working using port number twenty three. So let's go ahead and make configurations for our inputs connected on both the routers. So the network I have taken here is 10.1.1.0 with slash 24 out of which 1.1 is assigned for the router zero and 1.2 will be assigned for the router one. And router zero will be renamed as Cisco router and router one will be renamed as a Dell router. This is just for understanding how to create host name. But yes, let's go to one, to one of the router. We're just renaming the host name here. So let's go to enable mode and configure terminal and host name. Let's rename it as Cisco. And now we are in Cisco router and interface gigabit zero slash zero IP address 10.1.1.1 slash 24 for the subnet mask and no shut. So we will do the same thing on the other router. So I'm in the router one. So we need to change that as a host name Dell. So configure terminal host name Dell, and we will go to the interface gigabit zero slash zero, zero slash zero IP address 10.1.1.2 with slash 24 for the subnet mask. Okay, and no shut. And we will make sure that we are able to establish connectivity from Dell to Cisco and I'll take 10.1.1.1, the Cisco IP address and you can see the packets are reachable. Now we will configure enable password on this router you can even configure a secret password. And since secret password is more secure, uh, you, I'll, I'll take secret password here. So configure terminal enable secret and I'll just say one, two, three. And we will configure username. So username, I'll give network is my username with the privilege higher 15 and password in lowercase network, okay? And we will configure the line VTY. So I'll take line VTY zero till five and login local transport input telnet. So now that we have configured the telnet configuration on Cisco router, Let's go to the Dell router. So on the Dell router, telnet 10.1.1.1, and it's asking for the username, and the username is already created here. That is network, and the password is net is lowercase network. So I'll do the same here. Capital letter N E T W O R K, and it's asking for password. So that is my lowercase network N E T W O R K, and that works. So this way we'll be able to use um, the username and password and access any remote host with the help of Telnet configuration. I hope that this video has been informative to you all. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.